Hi everybody, and today I want to talk to you about a very annoying installation error that I've been suffering. I first found out about this when I tried to install a new video suite. However, the problem was actually to do with the Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable packages. And as you can see here, this is the error I was getting. 1935. Now this was whenever I tried to install 2005 or 2008 64-bit or 32-bit and the program would the installation would just freeze as you can see there and then roll back much searching on the internet showed that there were a great deal of other people suffering the same thing now if you looked in event viewer you would also see the errors popping up uh, the old 1935 not a great deal of use really and it didn't really point to anything so it was onto the forums, a great deal of help from people on the forums, but um, we still didn't really get to the root of the problem. And then we start looking in things like the CBS logs. These are generated by Windows Installer, and as you can see, they are vast. But eventually, we were tracking one down, and we discovered an access denied error. Now this access denied error was for when the package tried to unzip itself to a temporary folder in Windows side by side or WinSXS. Now when I looked at the permissions on this folder uh, only trusted installer, that's Windows installer, had permission to run it uh, or do anything to it. Everyone else could view it but nobody could enter anything into it. And in fact I tried to create a temporary folder but it didn't work. I tried to change it myself, change the permissions, but all sorts of errors came up and warnings about how the world would end tomorrow if you did change anything. And so I decided to opt for a safer option and I was using tweaking.com Windows Repair. Now I went through the optionals with uh, curing the problems and the repass points and then I came over to the repairs and clicked on repairs. And then I set up only these. Number one, number two, number three, and number ten. Reset registry permissions. Reset file permissions only on C drive. Reset service permissions. And then just as a, a precaution, remove policies set by infections. Now I did all this in safe mode, which you access by MS config, running it as an administrator. Go to the boot section and boot and networking and then you click on start repairs. I can't do it here now because I've already done it. Now what that did was allow access to that folder. And then very importantly, I created a folder called install temp within the SX folder. And then starting with redistributable 2005, I started installing and miraculously it all worked. It's fantastic, eh? Uh, and then I was able to install 2008 both versions as well. So that is how I cured this problem that I've had for the best part of six months. Hope it's helpful to some of you. Cheers then.